Okay, so in this video, I'm pretty much going to do um, a little quick review, or not not a review, but a quick little um, go over on Gottlob Frege's article, Sense and Reference. Um, it's in this anthology edited by Lo by Ludlow's Readings in the in the Philosophy of Language. Pretty thick mammoth like anthology, full of every full of lots of things you would need to know about philosophy of language. So. Um, <coughs> It's also in this book, which is the Frege Reader, and um, this is Frege's conceptual conceptual no notation or the, the or the Begriff shift Begriff shift. <coughs> so this is pretty, I would say, important in the philosophy of language, um, and I'm gonna try and be getting into more videos on the philosophy of language besides just Frege. Um, I have a couple of philosophy of language, of language anthologies which I plan on getting into on this on this channel, like various 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 um, articles in Phil Lang. So this was written in eighteen eighty two um, as in und Bedeutung, and um, it was not translated to English not until for uh, maybe nineteen fifty. After that, I don't quite. Remember, but it was sometime like the 40s or 50s, maybe. Um, so, what this is about is obviously the distinction between sense and re and reference. Um, in his other works, you will see him use this distinction in his article called "The Thought: A Logical Inquiry." He does use this distinction. So, in this, he's kind of talking about meaning, really. Um, He's talking about what meaning is and what identity is. He uses the word equality, at least in the in the translation that is used in the in the in the Ludlow anthology. Um, so this is where we have two big puzzles by Frege: the identity puzzle and the propositional attitude puzzle, and uh, those are pretty pretty important here, I would say. So going into it, he does start to talk about equality or identity as relations of names or objects. Um, we're talking about identity and about and, and about truth and as to how we can I guess solve this puzzle because this is a puzzle which is very different, very you know it, it's very interesting because we have two things that are the same thing and yet we don't have them I guess pinned down. And what he's going to do, he's going he's going to he's going to take the word meaning and break it down into sense and re and re reference. Uh, there's multiple words for meaning in German. Bedeutung is one, but he uses that to, to refer to reference. Um, but I forget the other ones. Zin is either sense or sign. Um, so this is kind of he's this is kind of he's talking. Of, he kind of refers to language as made up of linguistic composites. Now, what is a what, what is a composite? A composite is something, and this is done with um, metaphysics. Also, they try to they, they try to to ontologically look at the world as made up of composites, and the world is nothing with is nothing other than its parts. A linguistic sentence or a sentence is nothing but, or the meaning of a of a sentence in language is nothing but the meaning of its parts. So the parts, the meaning of each parts of a of a sense is, is what builds up to the meaning of the whole. And we have this issue of sub, 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 substitutivity, um, which is what creates these two paradoxes or these two puzzles. Um, and sub, substitutivity um, has to do with Synonymy or or synonymy or sameness of meaning, and where you know where we can swap words out and have unchanged meanings. That's what this is. So let's say we have the classic, um, classic uh, sentence: "A bachelor is an unmarried man." We can switch out bachelor and put. On an unmarried man is an unmarried man, so we can go from something like um, my marker at. 
we can go from A equals B to A equals A um, or A equals C and so on and not have a change of meaning. However, with the, with the identity puzzle and the, and, the, and the propositional attitude puzzle, sorry my, my battery ran out. Okay, I mean mine, not my battery, but my storage. So, hopefully I kind of got into the idea of what a linguistic, a linguistic composite is. That's um, a pretty much a, um, a sentence that has meaning according to its parts. Um, the whole of a sentence's meaning has to do with the, the meaning of each and every, each and every one of its parts. Um, and sub substitutivity um, has, to do with, has to do with synonymy or sameness of meaning to where, let's say I have the statement or the, or the sentence, a bachelor is, a, is an unmarried man, I can switch out, um, I can, sw I can sw sw switch out the word bachelor and put in on, 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 on unmarried man is an unmarried man and have the same meaning or, you know, any other thing that is a synonym um, or vixens are, f are f female foxes, I can switch out female foxes and put in vixens and say vixens are vixens or basically switch out words that are synonyms and have unchanged meanings. So the, the identity puzzle, we have the morning star and we have the evening star. They both are the same planetary body, and they both are they both are Venus. And this is Frege's classic example here. Um, it's pretty much um, um, has to do with the fact that this one comes up comes up comes up in the morning, and this one comes in the evening. But they are the same planetary body. They have the same reference in that in in that in that in that they refer to. This they re they refer to Venus. However, they have different sense. They have they have different th different thought different thought content. So we can't do substitutivity here. We can't do that here because let's say I went out. Let's say I went out to see the to see the morning star at se at se seven a.m. I can't put evening star in that. In that sentence, I can't say I went out to see the evening star at 7 a.m. because that 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 doesn't make sense. So we have two terms, same reference, different sense. Now we have the propositional attitude puzzle, which is um, a, prop a prop propositional attitude is a the way a person is connected to a certain statement or the way a person relates to it in that. One believes that uh, that um, epistemic word belief, or hoping, or being afraid of, um, st st stuff like that, having to do with emotion or thought. S believes that M T wrote H F. One believes that Mark Twain wrote Huck Finn. S believes that Samuel Clemens wrote Huck Finn. We all we all know that Sam that 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 Samuel Clemens was his born was his birth given name. And later on, he changed his name to his pen name, Mark Twain. So Sam Clemens and Mark Twain are the same person. However, and they both of these refer to the same person and the same book being written by this by this person. So, but they have different 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 senses. So these two puzzles fail in substitutivity in that they have the same reference but different senses different sense and that is the issue because the these are supposedly identical however they aren't um, because they have differing senses they have same reference but different senses and that's kind of what where what what Frege does he take he kind of you know he goes from talking about linguistic composites and I use the word Linguistic composites. It's, co it's sometimes called the compositionality thesis. Um, um, well, we don't. He goes from talking about. Uh, well, he used to say. Well, he was he was saying that we that we know the meaning of a of a sentence by breaking it down and looking at its parts and the the, the meaning of the parts 
goes to the builds up to the meaning of the whole, where he breaks it down to sense and references that the the sense of all the of of all the parts builds up to the sense of the whole, and the reference of of the parts builds up to the to the reference of the whole, and that meaning is sense and reference. And I have two other things here because sense and reference can be used versus mention and intention versus ex versus ex extension. Now I'm gonna go and also talk about way he solves these two puzzles here, and I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna go into them that in depthly because this is more of a guided thing, and I mean it's it's a pretty long article, and it does a lot of things there, and I could possibly do pretty well into say, to saying everything he's saying, um, and it's often it's often disputed as to what he's saying too, so. You know, uh, I recommend to read that, and I guess if you're if you're if you're watching this, to use this as a guided thing, a guided a guided study of this. So, what is a sense? It is a thought, the content, um, uh, or you know, kind of like I guess the way you th the way you think about something, the thought or thought content of a certain sentence or sentence part. Well, reference refers to true value. In that, in that reference is extension, and that reference refers to objects. There is um, an ob or a predicate that refers to a object, or a, or refers to a to a concept. Um, and reference is ha and re reference has to do with truth value, and that the truth value of any given sentence boils down to this. And the sense doesn't really entirely matter as much, but we but when 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 we were talking about identity and sub and substitutivity within within composites, we have to have same same sense and same and same reference to have this work. Use versus mention. This is a this is a big one. A proper name. You please. It's kind of like well, it's also the Fido Fido. Fido Fido thing, where you know we how are we going to talk about the name versus the th actual thing? This word elephant is obviously we're talking about the actual animal elephant, and this one with single quotes around it. This is this is a name. This is the name referring to a to a elephant. So if I if I take a, if I take a piece of paper and write elephant on it. And then throw and then th and then throw, throw and also with the uh, quotes around it. If I put if if I do that and throw and, th 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 and th 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 throw it on the ground, <coughs> does that mean that there is an elephant on the ground? No. Um, also, intention versus versus ex extension. Extension is reference. In that extension is the the extension of a of a of a concept is the object. In a way that could instantiate it, if if you will, or um, that verifies it, if you will. Um, intention has to do with meaning um, and sense. So in a way, these three do work together, and as do these three. Um, yeah, these are kind of simple things within the philosophy of philosophy of uh, language. Now down to this triangle. This is talking about same reference, different sense, where the point of intersection where we have A, B, and C of this, of this, of this, this triangle, this is the point of intersection of all three, where in that, in, in that they're all referring towards the same thing, however, they could have different sense at the same time. Um, so um, that's the whole thing here. We can... We have problems with meaning and and identity because of different of different set of di a di different sense and same reference. And he also says that that if one if a sentence has has if two sentences have the same sense, then then they have the same reference. Now, what is identity? Identity is <coughs> x x equals x, or if or if x if x e equals y, then y equals x. Also, if if x equals y and y equals z, then 
x equals z. And we have this issue of identity of, indis of indiscernibles. Um, a, if, if two things are identical, then if we have x and y, and they're both identical, then all of their parts and everything that they are are the same, and we can't we can't tell them apart. That's how we know that they are identical. Now that the, this is a big one in metaphysics, definitely big. So, what does he do to kind of restrict meaning, restrict substitutivity, or I mean to restrict um, um, restrict um, uh, meaning and talking about meaning of um, se of uh, sen of sen sentences. Oh, and this one has to do with actual knowledge. If this whole thing, he uses the words actual knowledge about that. Um, <coughs> to have substitutivity, you have to have the same reference in the same sense. Also, if two things are identical, then they, uh, then they yield information. Um, those are a couple different ways in which he does try to help meaning or try to try to help us get a better handle on what meaning is and how to uh, solve puzzles like these two. Um, and this is kind of all, all about meaning, really. That's what it is. So um, I'm going to cut this video before it gets longer or and I, and I run out of space. So if you have, if you have any question or something you want to discuss or you think I messed something up or left something out, comment below because whenever you comment, I, I get an email. And if your comment is constructive, then I will always respond. So thank you.